here with my man, Mr. Brown. How you doing, bro? Doing good, man. I'm out like, here. It's hot today, but I'm, I'm enjoying ready. myself. We're not indoors today. <laughs> We're not, hey, man, but you know what? Game Plan University, you, Mike, y'all just keep putting on these camps over and over. Adrian Peterson just a few weeks ago. Today, Arian and Andre. Man, why do you do it? Tell me, why do you do it? Uh, over and over. Man, because I know um, I was fortunate enough to get a college scholarship and go on and play in the NFL for six years. So okay. I know that when I was coming up, I didn't have these opportunities. Or if, if they were out there, I didn't know about them. Okay. So that's my part in the program to make sure that all the kids are aware of these opportunities, aware of the things and the centers that they need to, to um, take their game to the next level, whether that be college or professional, you know, sports. Is a, is a um, teaching tool. It teaches it teach these young men how to become men, how okay. to face adversity and all that. And so you, sound like, you sound like you believe that. Like you say, you yeah. played at college. So coming from high school, you probably was one of the best players on your team. But yeah. when you got to college, you had to work that all over again. And that's where you learn discipline. And that's where you learn to play team sports. These yeah. guys are in junior high. They haven't even got to your level yet. Right. What will you teach them today? Because they ain't even got to the high school level yet. Yeah. And they're already looking at your level already. Man. I'm, I'm from Sunnyside, South Park, so of course in that area we got a lot of talented kids. Oh, yeah. And I know the one thing that that probably got me to the next level is going. I didn't go to football camps like this, but I was fortunate to run track and I traveled and I seen that it was something beyond where I was and and I was able to attain certain things. And you know all those times when when people come to your school and talk, I probably want the only ones to actually listen. Okay, you know? okay. All right. So when I when people came and gave advice and they'd be like, Man, you gonna recruit ready when you're thirty, like I really You took heat. I really took heat and okay, be like, right. Man, I need to do this now and I know that that if I want to be one of the people to make it to college, be the first person in my immediate family to go to college, I know that I needed to to take advice and listen to people who who actually where I want to go. Is there any particular person, any particular coach, any particular teacher that says something to you that you carry on into college, to your degree, and to the rest of your life that changed your life? I can't, to be honest, it's a, it wasn't a particular coach or anybody, it was a, like a multitude of coaches that, that kind of um, came and supported me, and you know, I feel in my obligation, like, my little league coach, Coach Paul, a lot of my friends out here, they was coached by him, okay. came and picked us up every day for practice, my best friend, mom, picked me up every day for practice, so. So you had a village? Yeah, I had a village that helped, that helped me, and I feel like it was my duty that I owed them to become the best that I supposed to be because they did all this when I was younger, not just, I mean, just probably because they love me, but right. I know they, they feel like I had a future, so I feel obligated to them to, to go and make sure I do my best in anything I do. Brian, before we leave, what's the message that you want to leave out here today with these young men? Man, work hard and just remember your family care, but in, a, in the real world, nobody cares. So whatever you're going through, you need to face adversity. Don't expect no handouts. Okay. You need to go and just, and just give your best effort in all things. So you need to practice faith. Sometimes you might not know where you're going, All right. but you just can't. You just can't wish and hope that you, you're you going to attain a goal without putting in no work. So faith without work is dead. One more one more question, real simple. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between high school and college football? Speed and expertise, meaning like people are actually spending more time on their craft so we know more things. So it's the mind, speed and the mind. You heard That's that from my man B. Yeah. B, thanks for coming to the show, baby. Talk to you later. All right, man.